All right, so welcome back again to Car Guitars and Cars. Uh, I made a quick little video of uh, cleaning up this intake, and I didn't realize I pressed a button wrong, and we weren't recording anything. So now I have the intake for the throttle body cleaned up pretty well, and we might as well just go ahead and throw it back together. See what happens. So, like I was saying, I don't think I was recording, but just four bolts that hold this on, and uh, four bolts and an electrical connection. Some of them have, some vehicles have. coolant line too that connects fortunately this one does not so. also have some mass airflow cleaner Just spray it in here on the mass airflow sensor usually not too big of an issue but you never know doesn't hurt to doesn't hurt to uh, throw that in there like I was saying, this, this has a P0300 random misfire with um, some uh, O2 sensor codes and it's some kind of odd codes, but I saw a cylinder 3 misfire come up once. Kind of checked around to see if there was possible intake leak. Didn't find anything right away. So I'm not really sure what I'm looking at yet as far as the issue, but it's just stumbling and running rough cause, and I'm getting a random misfire. So first place I checked was the intake it was very dirty, and I'll try that and go from there. Back together. so I can get her to fire up. Let's see what she does. <clears throat> yeah, after uh, cleaning the throttle body, it's definitely going to hunt for a range because it's confused. It's at a different setting. It slowly builds up grime and dirt and adjusted itself over time so it's going to range and hunt for the right setting for the for the idle but I, I can still hear the misfire too I don't think that's necessarily going to go away with that throttle body cleaning but we'll see first of this I'll try to do a throttle body reset on it go back in line there Well, it seems fine. It's not. It's not a milkshake, so that's good. Yeah, this engine seems really solid. I get this misfire figured out. It's golden.
put this on the free coil pack wire. We put a coil pack. And when I did that, when I pulled that coil pack wire off, I feel I hear it start to stumble more. So that tells me that that's firing good. Because when you pull the wire, it loses that contribution to that cylinder. It starts to stumble. Yeah, same one there, same way. It's a great way to test to see if you're actually getting a contribution from your from your coil pack to the cylinder. And if you're not getting fire, then it's already going to stumble. So if you pull a wire, you're going to get no change. It's running rough. I don't know. So we've got ah, see if we can take a look here. Engine power reduced. We may have to try to do a quick uh throttle body reset. I had I just tried it and uh, I have no throttle response at all so let's try this I don't know if you can see that engine speed control throttle position ignition on ignition off next uh, I don't think that's what I want Back. Idle learn reset. There we go. <clears throat> Commanded data none. Okay. There's probably a manual way to do this if I look it up. Like, I don't know, but press the gas to the floor and do this and hold your left arm over your head and scratch your nose, whatever. But let's try this first. Set idle learn reset completed. Oh man, I think it worked, but we still got a nasty little misfire there. So let's look at. Probably going to have a bunch of codes, but let's check it. Twelve codes. Let's go ahead and e rate. Well, let's look at those first. E zero zero three zero, which is O two code. Throttle position sensor. I already knew that. Throttle position sensor. Throttle position sensor. O two. O two. O two. Engine misfire. Random O2. Okay, so we still have random misfire. Let's go ahead and erase this. The engine base. Oh, yeah. Let's search again in here. Probably come up with at least four O2. Okay. like crap. Revs up all right. Huh. Whew, it's getting toasty out here. Uh, now there's five. We just added another O2 sensor code. I really, I really don't usually pay attention to O2 sensor codes, but 
this is a little odd because it seems like it's all I get besides a random misfire. So let me see here. Look at some live data. Long-term fuel trim, negative 30%. Well, that doesn't seem normal. Huh. <clears throat> Might be something going on there for sure. Airflow is reacting. Throttle position. All right. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, keep digging into this a little bit and see if I can come up with a solution. And we'll get back to some footage when I get uh, I make some progress here. But right now, it looks like possible. Let's look through a little more. Short-term fuel trim. Short-term. Zap. That long term fuel trim at negative thirty percent. That's kind of crazy. Fuel system overload fault. I don't know if that's normal for this or not. Uh, so anyway, uh, where else can we look here? See what this. See what this. Press accelerator pedal to wide open. And the fuel cutoff occurs. What? I've tried this on this truck before. And that's, that's not the issue anyway. Uh, engine speed, throttle, fuel system. Let's check that out real quick. See what we got. Cylinder power, balance. Injector one. So I guess this just allows me to disable an injector. Wow. That's cool. That could be handy. Might go through that here in a bit. What else we got? Uh, fuel injector balance. Ensure all fuel lines are connected. Okay. Once per ignition cycle. Okay. That's just for checking fuel pressures. Not 
going to do that right now. HO2. You to learn. Let's try that. Sensor 1 heater, 0 amps. 2, 1.16 amps. So sensor 1 heater, 2. Sensor 2 heater, 1. Now let's try a reset, see what happens. Since we got all these damn HO2 codes. It's kind of funny because a lot of these options are not available on you know, a lot of vehicles. So this just happens to be, able to be available here. It's kind of interesting what's available and what's not in different places. Interesting that sensor 1 heater 1 is reading 0 amps though. That could be an issue. Jesus, does he have four sensors? Definitely, we might have to take a look at that. Bank one sensor, sensor one heater. Bank one sensor, one heater. Is it sensor one heater one, I guess? Zero amps. So, yeah, it could be a problem there. So we've got a long-term fuel trim, negative 30, and a O2 sensor that's it's got zero amps. So possible issues there. Uh, service reset, battery reset, I don't know what that was. Transmission fluid. Look at that. This fire just cleared up completely. Randomly clears up. That's crazy. Um, let's go back and look at our O2. Where was that? I don't remember. System actuator test. Let's go back and look at our O2 heaters. Oh, still zero amps. Oh, damn. How about fuel trims? Back to live data. Long term fuel trim 0.8%. Negative 0.8%. It was at negative 30 before. Look at that. Hmm. So, what would cause long term fuel trim to drop to negative 30? Things are running perfect now. I didn't do anything except look at it with my pretty face. All right, so that's interesting. A little mystery there. So maybe we have a fuel line issue, or maybe a fuel filter, possibly a fuel pump, or an electrical ground issue. Shit, who knows? Could be any number of things. But definitely gives us a place to start. I'm going to dig into it, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching Guitars and Cars. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Later.